up everybody welcome back to the this is the third stream now of tears of the kingdom um so yes yeah, so we left off i think we just finished a shrine maybe we were just about to start a, i think we just finished a shrine and we're on hyrule field kind of headed towards our next mission uh point here so um should pick things up here uh pretty quickly um i'm hoping i'm gonna get my my uh glider in short order but we shall see Okay. Yeah, that's the shrine I just did. There's a giant pit down to the underground. There's another shrine over there. I'm going to go ahead and mark that one off. And I see another shrine here. So I'm going to go ahead and mark these two off. I'm not going to do them quite yet, but we'll get to them eventually. So my next waypoint is like right in front of me. Oh, I see some more shrines, too. This one. In plain sight. I know there's many, many, many more that are very well hidden, but... I haven't yet figured out like, what the point... If, the, if these are just for... I'm fine to see, like, a dream home... I don't know if these are just like for a random vehicle construction, but I don't really have the means. I, I, I guess I could build like a wagon out of this thing and like use a fan to propel myself forward, but I don't have that much like energy to be able to uh, propel for very long. I would like to get a horse though. Hey Zinners, how you doing dude? Two streams in the same day, that sounds illegal. Yes, that's the whole goal with you know, taking time off work and whatnot is to, to make myself more available to uh, streams, especially this this first week while the game is out. Try to make a really solid dent um, in the game here. So this is, I'm guessing, the map tower for this region. That's what these guys have to say. I think, what's his name? Link! It's you, you're back. Where have you been? Aww. Last that anyone saw either you or Princess Zelda's when you went to investigate the gloom and then the castle rose into the sky and everyone's been so worried about what happened to you both. Pura has been has nearly worn herself out trying to figure out where you two went. Pura is working on that large building over there. Ah. Please report to her right away. She'll want to know you're all right, okay? No one dared try this in the history of mankind. It could break the streamer time continuum. I did do it. Um, okay, look out landing. I did do it quite a bit for uh, Elden Ring when Elden Ring came out because I also took time off to play Elden Ring. So it is not without precedent as far as I'm concerned. It is just not very frequent that such things happen. See, I'm right in the middle of giving out orders. This group's going to join the search for Princess Zelda, so whatever you need, it's got to wait until... What? Is that really you, Link? You've returned. I've got to say that it's a relief to see that you're safe. I'm Greylands, head of the Monster Control Crew, but we can talk more later. You need to report into Pura immediately. She has to know that you're back. Your interest in our work honors us all, but please go tell Pura that you're safe. Well, alrighty then. This looks like a store of some sort. Apples. Looks like there's some armor here. Hylian tunic. 130 rupees. Hylian hood. And Hylian trousers. The whole set. So we're looking at 250 for that. Plus another 70. So 320. For the whole set. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to shell out that much cash early on in the game for what'll probably be an armor set that'll be inferior before too long. 
Uh oh yeah, yeah you weren't around back then for for uh, the Elden Ring streams. Yes, yes, it was done back then. I I played a good like hundred plus hours of Elden Ring in that first week or so that the game was out. What an excellent night. Hey, you, where have you been? This is Robbie. Okay. A named NPC. Don't answer that. Tell me later. For now, you should go hurry and talk to Pura. She's been in a tizzy ever since you and the princess disappeared. She's in the building with the telescope on the second floor. Go see her and give her some peace of mind, will ya? Okay. What's up, Jesse? Good to see you, man. How are you doing? How's your playthrough going? He's using a Skyview Tower. You can write... Uh, register the map to your pure yeah. Okay, can take pictures. Subject reflected in a picture will be automatically identified, giving you the thrill of filling out your compendium. Was this a statue that I could level up at? Is this ripe for the taking? No, I, of course not. Are they going to call me thief for the rest of the game? Link's Awakening reference. There's a, for those of you who haven't played Link's Awakening, there's like a, a treasure chest that you could very easily loot at the beginning of the game, but it's like in someone's house. And if you loot the chest, they call you thief for the rest of the game. Um. Oh. Or for the upheaval, this never would have happened. Not that anyone knows what the upheaval even is. Uh. Okay. Playthrough's going good. Got about eight hours in. Okay, so you're you're a bit further than I am then. Just in terms of number of hours. I am taking this like ridiculously slow though, so you're probably quite a bit further in the game than I am. Crystal refinery. Yeah, this is the second one of these. A hundred. Yeah, I'm not even close to that. I think that up there is where I gotta go. I don't wanna explore. Ah, we'll, we'll, we'll do this first. That's what I'm supposed to do. Um, is there a way in there? Other side, maybe? Or up top, there we go. I'm assuming this is the lookout tower for the map. Hair, those eyes, d -d -d doc, Doctor Pura, the swordsman. The swordsman has returned. I think that was the person that the cave explorers were looking for. All right, who do we have here? Okay, now where have you been, Linky? You're not a ghost, are you? Hey. Looks interesting. Phew. One step at a time. What exactly happened? So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy, which suddenly reanimates. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. 
That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura Pad from an unusual creature. And learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Rum. The Master Sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. Yeah, I guess that about sums it up. How are you liking the game so far? I am loving it so far. Uh, I'm how we're exploring around not too far ahead for Murray. Okay. What? What? Are you saying you came from up there? Yep. This Raru you met. I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Are they the one? Are they one and the same? So much of this doesn't make sense yet, but I'm certain that the mummy found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. Hmm. Castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Ah. Then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you, and she gave you a clear message to find her. If that's truly what, if that truly was the princess, then that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs mm -hmm. help. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link, but I need you to meet with the search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the search is named Haas. Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you can. I know that mummy may still be lurking somewhere around there, which is concerning to say the least, but we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. She's She knows me well enough to call me Linky. Ahead of Lookout Landing. Highest authority on ancient technology, she has served Princess Zelda's family for much of her life and has worked in the princess, worked with the princess to research the Zonai civilization. Most recently, they started an investigation into the outbreak of gloom. She has used herself as a test subject in her experiments, despite being over a century in age. She reversed her aging to the extreme and actually looked like a child not long ago. Okay, yeah, that she was in um, she was in the uh, Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I just forgot her name. Main quest complete. Crisis at Hyrule Castle. What? Poor Princess Zelda, all alone beneath the castle with that creepy mummy. I don't even know what I'd do if I were me down there just thinking about it. It gives me the willies. Swordsman, you gotta rescue Princess Zelda. Dasha, she, she was the person that, um... What's his name told me to talk to, right? Was, or am I thinking of someone else? I'm going to have a little look-see. Because... On that day, the land shook and huge chasms that seemed bottomless opened up in the ground. The clouds billowed and rolled as floating islands appeared in the skies, raining chunks of ruins down on us, and strangest of all, Hyrule Castle began to float in the air. It's hard to believe this is our world now. Whoever started calling it the upheaval had the right idea. An evil-looking haze surged up from the chasm that opened on the surface. The haze we weakens everything it touches. People fall ill when exposed to it and has another curious property as well. As if guided, the miasma coiled about our weapons. There isn't a single weapon we know of that hasn't decayed as a result. We're calling this stuff gloom. We decided to call the islands hanging in the sky sky islands. Simple and to the point is best, it seemed. I suspect based on the design motifs of them that the ruins falling from the sky are Zonai in origin. We still understand so little about the Zonai civilization as all we know is that it flourished in the sky. While it's true that the upheaval has posed major problems in every aspect of life in Hyrule, I can't deny that it's also presented us with an opportunity to answer questions we've long had about our history. Hmm. We've started an investigation investigating the fallen ruins in the Sky Islands. Our best lead is a report from the chief of Kakariko Village that some unusual ruins and engraved slabs have fallen there. I decided to have the Zonai survey team work out of Kakariko Village in Nikluda, southeast of Lookout Landing. The ruins that fell on Kakariko Village are massive. You can see them from all the way here at Lookout Landing. The crater left by the castle's rise is still gro spewing gloom. It's kept us from making any progress with our investigation. We still don't know anything about where the princess and Link have gone. The upheaval occurred very soon after Princess Zelda and Link left to explore beneath Hyrule Castle. I fear the two events are related. Okay. Some nice backstory there. Ammon. 
Is that just for the for the book? Yeah. Alright. What's up, Darth? Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well tonight, dude. I can rest here, maybe? Uh, why not, Reader Diary? A stairway leading deep beneath the Hyrule Castle has been discovered. Even Princess Zelda didn't know about it, so it seems safe to assume it's a secret removed even from a royal legend. We have confirmed that gloom emanates from that location, meaning something down there must be causing it. I appointed Princess Zelda and Link to investigate. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that Princess Zelda volunteered for the job before I had the chance. I know beyond a doubt there is no team more qualified for such a task, and yet I can't escape this feeling of dread. I've decided to store this diary in four volumes. That way, if a nosy someone reads it, they'll only have a quarter of it. Such ideas are the fruits of genius. As for the first one, I think I'll entrust it to who else but Impa. Speaking of Impa, she's had a cute habit of hiding important items underneath things ever since she was a child. I have found a fond memory of when she forgot about a hidden steamed bun beneath the cushion and then sat on it, squashed it flat. Diaries are flat to begin with, but as they are more important than a bun, I hope she finds a better hiding spot than a cushion. Like how everyone talks at Link and asks him questions, but he just stands there mute and 90% of the dialogue isn't even voiced. How does all this get a pass in 2023? Because the gameplay is excellent. That is how it gets a pass. And I think, you know, hot take, whatever. But um, a lot of the games that are very high on my list of games that you know i think are the best of all time don't have spoken dialogue spoken dialogue is not a necessity for a game games uh lest we forget are not movies they don't have to be movies and this this trend of trying to make games movies is a fairly recent one now, that said, there are games that have cutscenes and spoken dialogue and yada 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 that are excellent. Um, but I would say in, in, in my top 10, the majority of those games do not have, you know, huge amounts of, of, of spoken dialogue. In fact, probably most of them have, have very little dialogue, if any, and if, if so, most of it is probably written. All right, so I don't think I can get up here. I mean, I, I wanted to try to get up here. Um, this seems like a tower of, you know, map. But how to get to the top, I don't know. Anyone can call Link anything because he's not like he'll uh, he'll ever reply in any way or emote in any way. Yeah. Well, it is called a silent protagonist. There is a name for such a character. And, um, you know, it is a device that is used in storytelling. And for whatever reason, Nintendo has made the creative decision that Link shall remain a silent protagonist. All right, I wish I could get up here, but it doesn't seem like there is a way to do so. Because I'm pretty sure this is the tower that would unlock the map, but it doesn't seem to be something I can actually do right now. That's fine. Because this thing will be glowing eventually. And maybe this thing would like port me to the top or something, but it's not activated yet. So, we will move on. Yeah, is there any way? Yeah, that's just the uh, energy well thing. Okay, so my adventure... Oh, character profiles. Okay. Heir to a power that imprisons darkness, she sacrificed her freedom over 100 years ago to keep Calamity Ganon sealed away and prevent him from further destroying Hyrule. After Link helped free her from that long duty, she committed herself to rebuilding and restoring Hyrule, but now has gone missing. Uh, so, okay. So it's a reference to Hate No Ancient Technolab. That was... I was in the original uh, Breath of the Wild. Um, Luna shares a name with the first king of Hyrule. He claims his the strange arm Link finds of himself was once his. 
So this is Raru, but I doubt it's the same Raru that was in Ocarina of Time. He do, he looks nothing like the Raru from Ocarina of Time. Um, what's up, Brock? Welcome back, dude. How are you doing tonight, man? Got another shrine over here. I wonder if I'm going to encounter a guardian. <laughs> Pickaxe. Oh, hello. Oh, it's nighttime, so I got nighttime enemies right now. That's that's all good. You dead? A Koblen horn and a Bokoblin fang and a Bokoblin arm. Oh, it's a it's a melee weapon. Was that did I read that right? Does that have 20 attack power? I'm gonna get rid of this throwing spear. Oops, not what I want to do. There we go. Throw this thing away. 20 attack power. I'm actually going to merge this. Well. I'm assuming that if you fuse a weapon that it regenerates its durability. But okay. Plus six. So I like increase the range of this thing vastly. It is my most powerful weapon, so I'm not gonna waste it on low level stuff. We're gonna hit the shrine though. The gameplay is eh. Combat is nothing special. There's the puzzles, I guess, but they're hardly mind blowing stuff, and the game world is not much to look at. I hate to say it, but I disagree with you on just about every one of those points. I mean, this game is literally all about the gameplay, and the gameplay so far has been fantastic and innovative and it definitely uh definitely holds its own i mean i get it there are some people who just aren't into nintendo and that's fine but i've been a nintendo guy since i was two years old And in my opinion, in general, and we're talking games, not games that are trying to be movies, but games, Nintendo generally makes some of the best games. Now, if your thing is, and, 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 and I have plenty of friends who, who are this way, if your thing is games that are like hybrid movies, then yeah, this is not your thing, but... Um, from a from a pure gameplay perspective, this game um, is incredible. This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You have an enter here. Heed my instruction. I probably just have to. This is a combat related shrine. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. Hope that was way too early. Still gave it to me though. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield just at the right time. Strike back in the opening you create. Shield and parry. Oh, 
Build up your power and then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. Press and hold Y. This is combat tutorial shrine. Cool. Mastery of these techniques has earned you access. Proceed within. Yeah, I don't need any more of these. I'm good. Rusty shield. Okay. And plenty of new enemies. That's correct. What's up, build? How you doing, dude? Welcome back to the stream. There's nothing to the combat. No parry timing or anything. I just... The game just showed that there's parry timing. There's definitely parry timing. Um, and there's dodge timing as well to get a pretty hefty uh, reward for, for getting the timing right. All right, let's see. What are we going to ditch here? This one. Okay. There is a parry you're about to see it, yeah. A lot of the so-called movie games, as you call it, have far better gameplay. Jedi Survivor has parries and combos and things that take skill. This game has next to nothing. Uh, I mean, I played Fallen Order. And yeah, Fallen Order, though, the thing about Fallen Order, it's a fun game. But Fallen Order is like a hodgepodge of all of these different concepts that they didn't come up with. So Fallen Order takes combat from like Sekiro. It takes like the checkpoint respawn enemy level up system of Dark Souls. It has like the Metroidvania aspect of exploration of like, oh, you don't have this ability yet. So you have to come back here later with this other ability that'll unlock a new portion of the level. It has that from Metroid and Castlevania. It has the platforming of Uncharted. And so, and it has, you know, the, the, the story drivenness of a bunch of other games. And so, you know, it, the thing about Jedi, the thing about Jedi, maybe Jedi Survivor really, you know, takes it in an innovative way, but it doesn't, it doesn't do anything that has never been done before. Um, there, there's nothing that's like, there's no game that's going to come out that's been like, oh, that's that's a thing from Jedi Survivor. They took inspiration from Jedi Survivor on that game. There's there's no game that's going to be like that because Jedi Survivor itself didn't create anything. It, it's, 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 a, it's a mishmash of a bunch of other concepts. Granted, it does that very well. Granted, the game is a lot of fun to play, but the, the game is not is inherently not innovative. This game feels like a true sequel to Breath of the Wild with a perfect amount of change and excellent new game mechanics. Yes. I mean, the look and feel is basically Breath of the Wild. Yes. But I am shocked with the the level of of new mechanics that they added, as you said. Yes. I mean, it's it's like your your core set of moves, your core set of abilities, I guess I should say, is completely different. Like I was expecting like to have the stasis, the the bomb, you know, moves that the things from breath, but it's a completely new core set of abilities that really change the way that you play the game. My point is a lot of things are dangerous ever since the upheaval. Ah. Built for anything, technically it is, unless they're anything but basic enemies, bosses, you can't use them. You'll see the only thing you can do against bosses is run away. Well, I haven't fought any boss. Well, I fought one boss. I fought one boss in the uh, Sky Island, and that was actually an interesting boss. <sighs> like the boss that was like the all the cubes that was stuck together, and it like kept morphing. 
like to different forms? This game didn't come up with anything either. There's nothing in this game that Nintendo came up with. Um, the mechanics to basically, I mean, so you, you, you could make an art. I've never played Minecraft, but you could make the argument that the, uh, the mechanics to like craft stuff, whatever that came from Minecraft, the ability to warp through a ceiling. I've never had that ability in a game before. And that has already proven itself to be instrumental in, in puzzle design. Um, I've never had that ability before in any game. Uh, the ability to manipulate time as it pertains to certain objects. And not only they're designed... Not, not only can you manipulate the time and their designed, already pre-designed movements, you can move an object... And decide to move it back, and that is and and that has been um, integral in the gameplay as well. Uh, things that are falling from the sky, having having the ability to traverse between sky, land, and underground, and things that are falling from the sky, and the way that you get to certain places in the sky is you reverse the time of the thing that fell from the sky, and you ride it back up to get to the sky. Like that type of stuff is the is the creativity that comes with a Nintendo game. And as I've said before, prove me. I mean, I'm I'm happy to 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 be wrong if if there is a different example of this. But but we're talking and and talking about Zelda as Zelda's identity as a series, especially since it became a 3D game. I I I can't name an action adventure RPG that um that had a a targeting feature on your enemies for combat that occurred before Ocarina of Time invented that and that has a, that has transpired throughout Zelda and every single action RPG that I can think of that I've played has a targeting has a lock on targeting system that came from Zelda and so of course this game is going to continue that mechanic because it was it was invented in one of this game's predecessors. And if, if there is a game that came out before Ocarina of Time in 1998 that had a lock-on targeting system the way that Zelda used it, I, I'd be happy to know. But I, I, as far as I know, Zelda at least was the, was the first mainline game that used it and definitely popularized the concept. And that is a staple. We're talking, what, 25 years later? Let's see. Jedi Survivor is mainly platform based. You can play that game for three hours and not see a boss. Only thing they came up with was brutal weapons, which nobody likes or wants. There's nothing innovative in this game. Breath of the Wild is zero. Dude, that is that is so wrong. I just went. I I, just, I talked for like five minutes on 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 things that this this game that are unique to this game, and I'm, I'm talking about this game, not even Breath of the Wild. Bre Breath of the Wild reinvented the open world genre. Um. Let's see. Breath of the Wild, I mean, maybe this game is like it, but Breath of the Wild is still the only truly open world game that I've ever played. Where you can literally start the game and fight the last boss without anything in between. Because it, it gives the player that much freedom. Sorry, he's off limits while we conduct your search for Prince of Zelda and Link. Well, I am Link. Can't just come walking, wandering in like this. Link, it's you. I'm sorry. I had no idea that I'd returned. Wait, if you're back, does that mean we don't need a search party anymore? Huh? You should go talk to Captain Haas. He's leading the search efforts here for the first gatehouse up ahead. You'll find it at the very end of this road. Okay. I'm going to shoot one of these pelicans, see what you get. Meat. Fair enough. Raw bird drumstick. Cool. Um, I thought I was playing Spider-Man with all the wall climbing. Uh, the Concord boss on the islands was pretty fun. Yes, I, I had a lot of fun with that boss. Um, 
I think it's like four foot nine going up against big bosses and mobs running takes skill. Prince of Persia's games had time manipulation. But could you move an object yourself and then reverse it in time? And it and it follow like the reversal in time follows the precision that you moved the object with yourself. Can't be him. I can't allow anyone past here. This area is restricted to those who are involved in the search for Princess Zelda. And e and even if even if you could in Prince of Persia, I don't think you could warp through the ceiling. <laughs> like that to me is 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 like shocking that they put that mechanic in this game because I feel like in most games it would totally break the game. But and and I I I don't know how it wouldn't break this game, but I'm sure they, you know. I figured it out. I mean, the first gatehouse up at the end of this road. Okay. But the level of the level of freedom that you have, like, and, and, and I'm talking about Breath of the Wild here, the level of freedom and exploration that you have to interact with objects in the environment. I've never had, I've never played another game that gives you that level of freedom. I've never, I've never played a game where you have the level of freedom that you have in exploration in terms of you can climb up any wall. You can, you know, there, there's nothing that you, that like is off limits in, in the environment in terms of exploration. I've never played a game, another game that gives the player that much freedom. Oh, hey, Korok. Because a lot of open world games, even though they're quote unquote open world, they're still kind of like on rails in a way. And that you can't, you you have to go through a certain sequence of events before you get to the end. Um, where is the next... Thing about. Oh my Korok seat. There it is. Yeah. And I and I know people crap on the weapons durability system and and full disclosure myself include like i i had a really hard time getting into breath of the wild to start with because of the weapon durability system i i really struggled with it but as i played more of the game i learned to realize more and more why it's a necessity and it and it has to do with the openness of the game because um, let's say you, you start, you go straight to Hyrule Castle. You go to the final dungeon of the game. You get the most powerful gear. Well, if you just, um, if you, if you did that and got the most powerful gear right from the start of the game and then just played the rest of the game with it and it never had durability, then you would, you would, you'd make a mockery of the game. Um, you totally break the game. Uh, so what the way the, what the weapons durability system does is it, it acts as an equalizer. Like, hey, you can go get the best gear, or do whatever you want, but you're not going to be able to use it for the whole game. You're only going to be able to use it for a very limited amount of time. And so you still have to manage your resources, even if you have the best gear. Um, even even if you went to the final dungeon to start the game to get the best weapons or whatever for, for the rest, you still have to manage it. You, st you can't just mindlessly play through the game uh, without without worrying about it. I definitely understand why they did it. And 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 if you guys know me, and in and, and games, I tend to find the weapon that I like, and then I play the whole game with it. The weapons durability system forces people like me to be creative with weapons. And it makes it it, it does force me out of my comfort zone. Um, but there's definitely a, a benefit in terms of of just the, the 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 variety that it forces you to to embrace. Um Can I I don't know. Should I Ah, 
I want to explore. If I die, I die. Whatever. I'll respawn. I want to see what's down here. I'm very curious. Uh, playthrough is fun, Jesse. It's Kirsten's turn to game, so I've actually just been watching her play Tears. Okay. Zelda's identity as a game is, 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 is the Nintendo game identity. A princess gets kidnapped every Tuesday over and over and over and over and over. I mean, that is a lot of stories. If you, if you want to zoom at that far out and say, hey, there's someone who needs to be rescued. That's a lot of that's a lot of stories that goes beyond just Nintendo and Zelda. Um, that is a, hey, there's, there, there's a problem. Go solve it. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. That is true. That, that is to avoid every single bit of nuance though. Stuff like passing through walls has been done before. Stuff like reversing time to solve puzzles and return to present. These are not brand new concepts. Did you ever hear... Did anyone else hear the sound of Fee and Skyward Sword when Zelda got the Broken Sword? No, but I wasn't really paying attention. 100% um, Dabao love Zelda. Darth, not sure what purpose you have in all the smack talk tonight, but geez, it's not fun for anyone. Uh, Jesse, yes, Kirsten and I ha uh, commented on the exact same thing earlier. It seems like you, you have it seems like you have an axe to grind against Zelda. Like for some reason, I mean, just I mean, it's fine if you don't like Zelda. I mean, not everybody I, I, I've said plainly, not everybody has to like Zelda, uh, but it sounds like you have an axe to grind. Like you just want to not like it. All right, well, this is going to be a death. But that's okay. As long as there's water I can fall into somewhere. Like, when I finally get to explore all this stuff, it's going to be insane. See, can I land in water somewhere? Is this water down all the way at the bottom? Bloom's approach. Is this water? Is this water? No, it's not. It's death. I mean, I it would be fine if I had my uh, glider, which I don't have yet. But at least now that I've, dis I've made the discovery, it should show up on my map, so I'll know to come back to it later. But fact of the matter is, if you want to talk about Zelda as a whole, Zelda as a whole is one of the most renowned franchises in gaming, and it basically invented a genre of game. And to ignore that fact is to just be willful, willfully ignorant. Like, you can not like it, but you have to at least admit that it had a colossal impact on the gaming industry as we know it. And you don't have to like the games. You don't have to like the games that you don't even have to like the games that are inspired by it. But you have to acknowledge that millions and billions of dollars have been made because of the quality of these games and because of the games that they've inspired. I mean, it literally has created an, an industry. Or at least created a genre within an industry. But I would also argue that Nintendo and N Nintendo made the gaming industry viable as an industry. I would make that case as well. Gaming was a very niche thing until Nintendo came along and, 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 and more, more specifically Shigeru Miyamoto. If it weren't for Miyamoto, um, gaming as we know it today would not exist. At least it wouldn't be as popular. It could it could maybe exist, but it would definitely be more niche. Because let's face it, games before Mario, like, kind of sucked. I mean, there were exceptions, but those are exceptions, not the rule.
first gatehouse. Is this where Oz is? Got a torch. I already have a torch. Oh, wow. Are you Haas? No. During the people, all the weapons, swords, spears, claimers you named suddenly decayed. I've explored many regions in a search of weapons that might still be intact. I found none at this point. I'd be surprised if there were any intact weapons left in Hyrule. Also, real pain to repair, so the best thing is to strengthen them. Soldier spear. The ladle. I'll pass on the ladle. All right. I'm looking for Haas. I think is his name. Like this is the uh, bot. Maybe if I sit and pass time, I don't know. 100% love Zelda, Darth, uh, oh, I already read that one. Um, I've looked at it, seen a lot of this game. I've checked out the whole story, main boss fights, exploration aspects of it, etc. It baffles me that this game gets nine 90s at all, much less 96. I mean, we've discussed the reasons why. I mean, it, yeah, yeah, it, it, it very well just may not be appealing to you and that's fine. Um, but uh, the fact of the matter is, is that it appeals to a lot of people for many of the reasons that um, I have described. Wingo. Way up on top of the gatehouse. Okay. I gotta get up top. Okay. All right. That's cool. There he is. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Huh? Mm -hmm. Link, is that you? You're alive and all in one piece it looks like. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief. Huh? Hang on, you're alone, but you heard the princess calling out to you and you're here to help with the search. I see, or maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. I'm relieved to see you come up here and help us out, though. We needed some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've been a bit dead in the water. Oh. Captain, it's Princess Zelda. Hmm? Princess Zelda, she's safe. Is that her, though? Wait, what? Huh? You saw that too, Link? You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off, right? How strange. This, this is an emergency situation. Mm. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw, but it will take a bit. Please, you must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. See if I can get to the very top. If nothing else, there should be a Korok seed or something along those lines. We'll see. If I can get to the top. Can I grab onto this thing? Yes. Okay, let's go all the way up.
Go, 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 go. Hey, what's up, Robert? How you doing, dude? Welcome back. It's the turtle man. Still likes turtles. Dude. Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. Um, how's the game? I am I'm I'm loving it so far. It's been uh it's been a lot of fun. Um I'm still I, I I'm like six hours in, but I'm still I still feel like I'm at the beginning of the game. This game is huge. And now that it's raining, uh it's harder for me to climb up stuff. Which does kind of suck, but oh well. It is what it is. I wanted to see if there's something at the very, very, very top. There's no clouds in the sky, but I feel like it should stop raining soon here. You been all right, Robert? Are you are you uh, are you playing this game as well? There we go. It stopped. Yeah, lo I mean, long story short, I get it. Zelda is not everybody's cup of tea, and that you know is perfectly fine. If it's not your cup of tea, that's perfectly fine. Um, but to, but I, I, I'll say this, to ignore the impact that Zelda has had on the gaming industry is to have your head in the sand, point blank. I knew there was going to be a Korok up here. There we go. Now I just need to climb. I need to uh, figure out where to claim them. Okay, so I'm going back to um, Lookout Landing now. The Shrine was pretty close to it. But yeah, my, 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 my thoughts are just in general, I, I like action adventure games, obviously, um, whether they have a story or not, or whether they, I'll say this, whether they have an in-depth story, like, you know, we're talking hours upon hours upon hours of spoken dialogue and well-acted cutscenes, yada, yada, yada. Whether a game has all of that or not is relatively inconsequential to me. Um, so, you know, I play the Zeldas, I play the Dark Souls, I play the Bloodborns, I play the Elden Rings. I also play the, the Jedis. I also play the Hogwarts, you know. I also play play those types. I th Like, I play the Woe Longs, you know. I, I play those types of games, you know, that do have a lot of acted cutscenes. Um, and I love them all. As long as the game is good, I like it a lot. Uh, that's right. Where's the person is like up here, right? Or can I, do I have enough to exchange a thing? I'm guessing I'll be able to use those balloons soon enough. Okay, you're currently working through Jedi Survivor. Once you complete that game, I'm planning on snagging the Zelda for sure. Looking dope, fun, awesome, dude. Okay. What? You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle and then she transformed into light and then flew off? I've got to say, your stories are always so wild. Um, but if you're telling me that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. 
I mean, it sounds this, this if people didn't know better, this this would sound really shady. Like, hey, I escaped, but Zelda's like MIA. It would sound like I, I like kind of killed her, but I didn't. Um, let's see here. Telling me that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval for now at least. Already got a few regions of mine to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues where she flew off as long as we look around. Oh yeah, you still got the Pura pad, right? Can I see it for a sec? A little worse for wear, but seems to be functioning fine. So much longer you got in uh, Jedi Survivor, uh, Robert. I know... You're playing on console, right? So your your experience hasn't been uh, been too bad with it in terms of just bugs and whatnot. What's up, super super googly? Welcome back, dude. Good to see you tonight. Map map map. Baha. Oh right, forgot that before we can look at your overall map of Hyrule, we need to add map data from right. Or right around Lookout Landing, and for that, we need our Skyview Tower. Okay, sweet. Is this where the tower opens up? Joshua, what's the status of the Skyview Tower right now? Let me see. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. Ah. The travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. Okay. Travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Mm -hmm. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick. Just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just the spot for you. It has a free bed and kitchen, so just, and so it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info, <gasps> talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center, right where the emergency shelter entrance is. You need clothing for your travels? Mm -hmm. Go to Mub's shop. I'll be over by your Skyview Tower when you're ready. Just head out to let me know. Yeah. All right, Josha, let's work on our final preparations for the tower. I'll handle the travel point. Josha, you're in charge of the switch. Sweet. Okay. Glad to have you back, Link. My name is Squirpus. I've been charged with managing Lookout Landing. If you have any questions about the place at all, come right to me. I'll answer as best I can. Now, please allow me to open the emergency shelter. This underground vault used to be an emergency shelter for the royal family. Now we're making it, making constant use of it. Feel free to make yourself at home in our vault. Use any equipment you want. I said them. Oh. Ah. Oh wow. Like a, like a fallout shelter. the upheaval of gloom began pouring out of the ground it's clung to the weapons pulsing if alive we've watched the weapons rotted to pieces right before our eyes it was all pretty wild and i don't understand how it happened the time in hyrule castle can float i've given up on trying to make sense of those oh. things oh yeah in case nobody's mentioned yet you're welcome to the weapons over there though they probably won't be much to you since they've you've guessed it decayed okay boko reaper yeah Hmm, oh, it's you, Link. Pardon me for being lost in the work here. This map tends to get all my attention. Are you interested in the different peoples of Hyrule and where they live? That's my entire field of study. We might have on a deployment with the monster control crew. It's been hours poring over our maps and such. Uh, the most knowledgeable is Lookout Landing in Hyrule's various peoples and their towns and villages. Oh. Aside from his Highlands, there are four other people here in Hyrule. The Rito, the Gorons, the Zora, and Gerudo. 
Each live in a different area and have their own unique traits, whether it's soaring in the sky or feasting on rocks. We Highlands also live in villages that reflect our unique cultures. The, the Sheikah are renowned for their wisdom. In fact, our most prolific researchers are among them. The leader of the Lookout Landing Pura is from the Sheikah tribe. I work with the monster control crew. We're tasked with protecting everyone in the monsters. Everyone from the monsters. There's been an uptick in their population since the upheaval, but I'm not really, but I'm I'm not really the most skilled in combat. So instead, I use my knowledge of the areas to help determine where we should make deployments. It's been an increase in the number of un unfamiliar monsters since the upheaval as well. Be careful out there. All right. Looks like there's the Gorons. There's the Rito or Ruto. There's the Gerudo. So, okay. Here I can sleep. Read the Zonai survey team's three big ideas. Serious ruins that appear due to upheaval with strange dome-like protrusions, we're calling them shrines. They believe to be from the Zonai civilization, but exact details regarding these shrines are unknown. When observing shrines as well as fallen ruins, take note of their shape, the sky above, and the surrounding environment. Large holes appeared all over the world after the upheaval. They release gloom and are known as chasms. Gloom is physically harmful to people. Direct contact should be avoided. If the effect of glooms are making you feel ill, evacuate from the chasm immediately. Before entering any chasm, be sure to ask permission from Josha, the leader of the chasm surveys. We of the Zonai survey team were founded and tasked by Princess Zelda to study ruins and ancient documents. Through the lens of archaeological understanding, it is her hope that we will uncover the deep history of Hyrule. Due to the upheaval, many, many ruins from the Zonai civilization came crashing down from the sky. We have known very little of the Zonai, but we now have evidence that their culture once flourished in the sky above. Our chief executive is Taro, the first individual in the world to find a clue to deciphering Zonai scripts. Current surveys are wholly focused on learning more about the Zonai civilization. Research, research results are shared out to specialists at the base in Kakaruka Village. Okay. Oh. Huh? Okay. I will have a rest. Five AM, rise and shine. Definitely not my style, but Okay, can I climb the tower now? This let's see. Oh. Ah. All right, what you got for me? Hmm. Put this here, then it goes there. No, 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 that's not quite it. Uh -huh. There, that should do it. Excellent. Ah. Hey, Link, you all set? Just wrapped up here myself. The travel point working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. Okay. Hey. Ready, Josha, pull the switch. Hey. And oh, here we go. It activates all of them. All the Skyview Towers have now been activated. Yeah. Okay, Link, your turn. Mm -hmm. 
Go hold the pure pad over that terminal. Yes, sir. I'm playing on an Xbox. Personally, I haven't had any issues other than the occasional minor graphical hitching. It's been an awesome experience thus far. Yes, I've, I've heard it's overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly been more of a, of a pleasurable experience on console than PC, which has had more issues, especially with like crashing and stuff like that. Thirty-seven percent complete, man. It feels like it should be more like seventy-five percent. The game is massive. Yeah, I know. Darth, Darth beat like platinum it within a week. I think something like that. Huh. Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means you can now use this travel point to get here at any time instantly. Same is true for every Skyview Tower. You add your pure, to your pure pad. Impressive, right? Huh. Skyview Towers are about more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area or more simply put to make a map. Pure pad works with Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly into the map. Uh -huh. Pretty great. Hmm. Only thing is you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill and nobody here has what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested this out yet, but we needed you. Which brings us to this. Yes, thank you, the paraglider. I need this. This item given to you by Pura lets you ride the wind and glide through the sky. Press X in midair to activate it. Wonderful. Now it's time for our very first test launch. I mean, our first test, just step over there to the circle and find me afterward. All right. Huh. Be observing from the research lab. Yeah. Test scan is over. We'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda and also need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has wrecked the most havoc. Best of luck. All right. Yeah, I did um I did platinum fall in order. So I do when I play when I end up playing Survivor, I do pl plan on um getting the platinum for Survivor as well. Yes, he did platinum already. I mean, he platinumed it like with within like a week, I think. Oh snap. Oh wow, so it really takes me up there. Dang. That's pretty sick. Map unlocked. And the sky it does oh it, it updates the sky map too yeah are there any sky islands that i can fall to dang that was cool i want to land on top of the tower So good. Nothing up here. Okay. That's crazy. So can I like relaunch myself? Yes, I can. Wow. This is fun. 
Uh, can you, like, are there other tiers, like, on this tower that you can explore? You see that mesh? The mesh looks like it's climbable, but I don't really have a reason to climb it. Yeah, this was, this was one of my favorite parts of Breath of the Wild, was just, like, go, going to a really tall area and then just gliding down. I actually cut the last video stream earlier today. It was right when you figured out the reverse time action thing to get a log wrap boosted up for a platform. Wild game. Dude, yeah, this game has been a lot of fun and 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 it's extraordinarily inventive. I like it a lot. Um very well thought out. I wonder if there's something I'm supposed to like spot through this. I can't zoom in or out. That's where I was before. Okay, so what's my main objective here? Uh, Map data is added to your Pure Pad. Pure wanted to give you some potential destinations to investigate. Okay. Back to the research lab. Uh -huh. Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Huh. Good. The map is crucial to our search. There are Skyview Towers in every region in the world. You'll want to make a point of visiting them all. Right, let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Of course, of other strange phenomenon have been um, coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look all over your map. First report comes from uh, Hebra to the northwest. Next up is Elden to the northeast. The Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, there's Lanayru to the east. These strange phenomena are concentrated to these four regions. Yes. Can't say for certain, but I got the nagging suspicion that we might that find out more about Princess Zelda by looking to these phenomena. Uh -huh. Hey, Doc, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at the Rito Village over in Hebra recently. Hmm. That's pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay, but this does sound like it's worth looking into. Mm -hmm. and before I forget, Link... We've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search of Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the goings-on in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to the Rito Village. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out in some way, too. I'll be there, directing a variety of investigations into the upheavals, many chasms, and new ruins. I'll also be looking into the different villages. Someone somewhere might know what's happened to the princess. Yeah. I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around Hyrule Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. Oh. Sorry, I can't talk now. There's something I got to discuss with the goggles right away about our research into the chasms. Let's talk later. Well, you had an exclamation above your head. I'm going to follow you. Because you apparently know how to explore the uh, uh, underground places. What a pleasant morning. Hey, you. Is it true? You've got the Pura pad. <laughs> Pura and I work together on the design, but I'm the one who put it together, you know. Should have called it the Robbie pad, technically speaking. <laughs> Come on, goggles. Are you even listening to me? Oh, uh, yes. Sorry, you were saying. <laughs> I was saying that I want to go investigate the depths. Look, if you're not going to listen to me, I'll go and jump into a chasm myself. <laughs> No way, no how. You can't do that. The depths are far too vast for you to explore on your own, and we've only barely begun to look onto them. Look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there too, but who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms. But no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow our young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul. If anything were to happen to Pura's favorite student, it would be the end for me. The end. <laughs> But I need more on that figure. If we have more info on it, then it should help us better understand the depths. Oh, Swordsman, sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. Yeah. Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. Ah. This piece of slate, specifically the image depicted on it, 
See that figure standing on two legs with one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. That's why I want to go down there so I can see if there are any more depictions uh, like this one. I want to see for myself. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous and he won't let me go. Joshua, come on now. I tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can't find anything about the figure on that slate. And Link will join me. That sounds like fun. We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, we'll use your PuraPads camera to take a picture of it for Josha. A perfect plan. You don't know about the camera? It's one of the PuraPads basic features. With the camera, you can capture nearby scenery as an image. One that's stored in your pad there. Sounds like you still have more to learn about the PuraPad. Well then, I'll teach you how to take pictures once we're down there anyway. There will be lots of monsters in the depths though, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see, I guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go on ahead once you're ready and, and rearing to go. Come find me there. Ta-ta. Wait, hang on. Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry you got roped into all of this, Swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he leaps before he looks. But here, maybe this will help you out at least. Oh, nice. Ten of them. It is dark down there. Take this too. Five arrows. Chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black, but if you attach a bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay, you want to hang. You want to head straight out of Lookout Landing to the southern gate. You'll find the chasm goggles you used just outside. I don't know too much about how your camera works, but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, and please look after goggles for me. Okay. Yep. I want to do that. I'm gonna do that now. All right. Young scientist who genius earned her role heading up the depths research. Joseph finds it thrilling to be working with Pura and through, though she helps with various investigations into Princess Zelda's appearance, she's glad to focus her time on the depths. I like how those those towers are all lit up so they're pretty easy to spot where they're at. Can I take the beehive without getting hurt? Coarser bee honey, honey straight from the hive, chock full of nutrients. Cooking this into a meal unlocks the potential of these nutrients and provide uh, provides stamina recovery effect. Be mad following me. They're an enemy. I can lock onto them. All right. Where's uh, Robbie? Robbie already at the bottom. This is how castle. How castle remains strangely in the sky. Four regions. So Breath of the Wild, I did the Zora first, then the uh, Rito, and then the Gorons, and then the Gerudos. But th they seem to be, yeah, they seem to be pushing me into Rito Village. So I'll probably do that one first. But before that, I'm going to do this. Okay, that balloon thing is gone. Maybe that's what um, Robbie used. Whoa, whoa, hey, what's the big idea? You can't just walk up behind someone who's standing on the edge of a chasm. My colleague who works with me on the Zonai survey team is down there. What would happen if I slipped and fell on him, huh? Don't startle me again. I'm deep in my investigation work at the moment. Fair enough, dude. There he is. Well, 
Why, hello. Dang. The depths. Oh, your Link. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Ponick from the Zonai Survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived. But he rushed along with such haste that he didn't bring enough bright, bright, bright bloom seeds, and now I've run out. So I lost sight of him. Oh. Thought he was taking a short walk over to that glowing area over there. Then he just kept going. And going. And last I saw him, he was heading way out there off to the west. Do you have any bright bloom seeds with you? I sure do. Ah. That's great news. Light from the surface hasn't reached down here. As you might have noticed, you'd be risking your life to wander here without a light source, you know. You can easily get bright bloom seeds from caves and they'll light up if struck. So if you're pretty, they're pretty easy to use too. We use the seeds all the time on the Zonai survey team. The simplest way is to throw them with your hand. Those of us skilled enough with the bow will attach them to arrows and fire them off into the distance down here. Oh. If you're going to explore the depths, take plenty of those seeds with you. It looks like a lot of the uh, gloom down here. And from what I read earlier, the gloom doesn't heal naturally in the depths. Like, you have to... Go back to the surface. Muddlebud, a wildflower with a powerful odor that could disorient and confuse, making it difficult to tell friend from foe. Just realized you missed Puggy on yesterday's stream. Yes, he did he did uh, grace us with his presence yesterday. It was a lot of fun. Jesse, thank you so much for the $20. You summon Puggy. All right, now Puggy's got to show up. It's 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 uh scientifically proven that he will show up when summoned. I wonder if I crouch if I can get these things. Deep firefly, multi-winged insect that lives in the depths. It exercises luminous it excretes luminescent elements that can be cooked into an elixir which will add a faint glow to anyone who consumes it. Okay, well, don't mind if I do. Meme. Light the way. What does this do? Does it light up the place? Seems a bit brighter. Ooh, got my old map down here. Light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Nice. So this like gives me the yeah, so there's no, like, sky islands. Unless this is one. I feel like I want to explore that. Is that a sky island? Can I warp here? I can. I want to see if I can get to this sky island. I know I'm bouncing around, but... I'll come back here. Currently munching a maple cookies. The maples pair very well with Zelda. 
Did I hear Puggy? Yes, you did, man. He, uh, he joined us for a good bit last night. Aiming a bright light at enemies will blind them, causing them to drop their weapons. Okay. Oh, hey, it's a Rito. What's up? Oh. Look at this. You're the one I saw flying around the sky. It's great to meet the first one to ever be launched from a Skyview Tower. A real historic moment. Hey, what's your name? Mm. Link, you say. Hold on there. Really? Your name is Link? Hey, buddy. <laughs> you got the same name as that famous swordsman. <laughs> oh, good for you. Pretty big name to live up to, uh. though. I'm Penn, by the way. I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about this event so folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. I better get to work. Our newspaper is short on staff, so I've had to flap all over the place to cover the news. Hey, we could use another reporter. You should join us. Seem like a brave type and all. That's what it takes. Oh. Our newspaper is based here in Hebra to the northwest. You'll find it near the bridge that leads to Rito Village. Stop by if you're up for the adventure of a lifetime in the newspaper biz. Until then, <laughs> soar long. That's right. That's that that has there is historical precedent for this, Jesse. You summon Puggy and then and then Zinner's uh Zinner starts stalking. That's right. Alright, so I'm looking at my map. In the sky, it looks like to the south. There is a sky island. Um, I want to make sure I'm facing the right way so that like I'm should be looking at it head on when I launch. Right here, I guess. Yeah, there we go. But it, oh, it reoriented me. That's sad. But do, do I go high enough to get there? Or is it higher up even? I can't, I can't look at my map. It doesn't look like... I'm looking right at it. I should be looking right at it. But I think it's higher up than... going or is that it yeah that's it over there it's that teeny tiny one I guess I'm interested nope I didn't mean to do that whoops um I can just glide over to it. But I like glide immediately if I can reach it. Can I glide yet? There we go. Saying it's like right here. Thing that I'm right on top of it clearly what the heck what the, what is a star oh that that looks crazy um oh but it uses stamina to glide all right that's a problem but i didn't know that was a thing I did see a shrine. I'm going to see if I can glide over to that shrine. Stamina fully charged up. Huggy equals mimic. Zinners equals Tish. Both quality summons. I would argue neither one is is even is necessarily better than the other. It's just different applications. Uh, 
I don't know if I can reach this with my current level of stamina. That's where they get you. You can you can glide, but you can't glide forever. Which does make sense because like you're technically, you know, hanging. And uh from your glider, and that does take stamina to do in real life. Like if you just hang, you can't hang indefinitely. All right, I'm going to warp back to the underground. It was worth a look. Question, why is it that years later the Switch released the ability to Bluetooth headphones with just an update? I know you probably don't have an answer, but I'm still bitter. Yeah, I mean, because the controller is Bluetooth. So, I mean, it's it's had Bluetooth capability right out of the box. Um, as for why, I don't have a good answer other than uh, Nintendo gonna Nintendo. Hey, you. It's really dark down here. Not one bit of light gets here from the surface. Even with my goggles, I can hardly see. I really should have brought some blight bl bright bloom seeds with me. As one of the few sources of light, the growing root growing down from above has piqued my curiosity i'm not sure what it is but it looks harmless enough this place is roughly under the shrine uh, on the surface hmm anyway i'm off to the glowing root i see shi uh, shining west of here so you better hurry up and get moving west would be this way but i do want to explore as well i don't want to just rush like go up this giant thing, whatever it is. See if there's a Korok seed or something up here. This is like a big old like tree or something down here. Nintendo gonna Nintendo, I accept your answer. I mean that that is the only that's the only logical answer that I can come up with. Eh, I don't want to get blight or, or gloomed or whatever. Kirsten just got the glider. She screamed so loud in excitement, I thought she was going to wake the kids. So Kirsten and I are are, are roughly in the same spot then. stamina here. Gummit. We're in the same spot with much less exploring on her end so far. She's blitzed straight there. Yeah. Well, that's probably the better approach, to be honest, because I haven't, other than a few Korok seeds and maybe a shrine or two, like I haven't like come across anything earth shattering by the by the amount of explore exploration that I've done. I mean, the, the exploration is more for me than any, anything else just because I enjoy like just what I find, like what like just just coming across like the landscape in general and just seeing like what's out there. But like what I'm doing right now serves probably no purpose, but it's just like I have to look. I'm going to wonder about it if I don't do it, so I'm going to do it. I'm way up here. 
Like this appears to be, yeah, like there's no going up there. But what I want to find out is can I ascend? I cannot. Like, hey, now I get to glide down and I'm just having fun, you know? Oh, it's a Bacoblin, Boca Bocoblin camp. Bacoblin. Where is north? I'm, I'm going actually the opposite way of like where I'm supposed to be going. Oh no, oh no, oh no, don't take away my stuff. Getting to the darkness. There's a thing over here. Light up this joint. Where's my seeds? I see that thing over there. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go for it though. What's up, Greg? Welcome back, dude. How are you doing tonight, man? Did you finally uh, give in to Zelda? Have a good night, DB and chat. Enjoy the depths. All right, Bilt. Have a good one, dude. Is this the Halleck tree? I, that thought has crossed my mind. True. Or, or, or to, uh, I was thinking, uh, I was thinking, is it the Erd tree? Oh, no, 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 no. Must not succumb. I'll take all the fireflies, though. Is this like a sit down and regain your health place? No. Hey, you still alive? Looks like this place is swimming in gloom. Get too close to that stuff and you'll be asking for trouble. If a guy didn't have any bright blooms, it'd be curtains. Then again, it's my first time down here and I haven't kicked the bucket, so I'm sure you'll be fine. I've just spotted something of interest th through my goggles. It's shaped like that figure Joshua wants us to find. I'll be continuing to head west towards one of these glowing roots I see ahead. See you soon. Going roughly west. I am exiting the light. About to get off the first island. Such a good game. I accidentally attacked a flame emitter to my sh accidentally attached a flame emitter to my shield. Gotta say, totally worth it. In what way? I am Link Blade of Zelda, and I never knew defeat except against a scary moon. Ronnie. Oh, there's another. Oh, yeah, there is another uh, thing over here. Uh, so I'm going to light this joint up. Um, here we go. Oh, snap. I can't mind my own business. This is probably bad. They, they probably, yeah, they're, they're like marked by the stuff. Lots of this stuff down here. Wow.
<laughs> he threw him at me. That was awesome. Uh. Okay, so this is like basically taking damage from Gloom. Trying to. Oh no. Okay, that was bad. Ah, dang it. It's like, I, I can't heal from this now. Did I get him? A moblin horn. A hard horn that resulted from a skull mutation. Attach it to a weapon to increase its attack power. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir. <laughs> Who's shooting me? Oh, this guy. See here, can I make an exploding? Yeah, we're gonna do this. Kaboom. Goodbye. Thanks for playing. Ah. They need a hammer. Not gonna bust on me. Here we go. You need all the Zonite. Probably could have, like... What if I... This... I can't because it's already fused. Well, what if can I unfuse it? Or fuse material. Here we go. And what if I whoops? This. Okay. Is there a treasure chest around here? Did I just do that for the Zona Eye or whatever? That's fine. Try it out when you hold ZL, it shoots flames from your shield. Although I did get pissed because I missed the third shrine, dropped down a ledge, you could not get back up, and had to go all the way back around the map to get to it. Yeah, I was as I was wondering, does it like force you on a path to get those shrines? Like, I don't, I don't think there's a way that you can can like can break that. I think you have to go like a certain route. See you up there. In bad shape. I am going to do this. mess around. Where's my uh, fire seed things? Here we go. There we go. 
That worked well. Now let's see, I can dispose of this one. Okay. Right. See you up there. You're getting the bomb treatment. I can't mess around. I got one hit left. The rest of you are just getting the regular fire seeds. Could do much damage though. That's disappointing. There we go, that was better. Come on. There we go. But I definitely need to shoot a... Okay. So... Bust these things open. Ooh, large zonaite. Especially high purity. The amount of energy concentrated and allows for much higher power output than regular zonaite. I will gladly accept. Oh, these things have a time limit. Hopefully when I get to this thing, it'll... Aracuda wing, large wide Aracuda wing arrows and thrown weapons fly further with this item attached, even in a slight wind. Sweet, I got to this one, and I think there's my, uh, my buddy. I can already tell the, uh, the, uh, underground is going to be a massive area. Um, you stole that move from Wolong? What move? All right, Brock. Have a good night, dude. Thanks for hanging out, dude. I will see you next time. Please heal me. I need to be healed. Oh, wow. Light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Using the big guy to throw the little guy. Yes, I got my heart capacity back. So I can at least heal myself. All right, so. Got to eat something. I need to cook up some dishes. Anything else that'll give me health? Get a full heart from those. Full heart from those. Two hearts from that. There he is. What? Look how bright that thing got. Light down here. This. The light, that light down in this dark is downright refreshing. Hmm, in fact, it's so luminous, it's almost like, like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. 
Hey, it's you. You're finally here. I need to show you what I found. Oh, hey, whoa. The statue is standing tall on two legs, one arm raised high. It looks an awful like the figure Josha showed us on that piece of slate, don't you think? <clears throat> All right, to get that camera of yours ready, it's time to put it to work. That's right, I forgot you hadn't used the camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given it's one of PuraPad's basic features. Hmm, give me that PuraPad for a second, all right? Well, there's a problem. Your camera is locked, and so is your Hyrule Compendium. Hang on. If I remember correctly, you press this thing while you pull this, and then you tap that, and... Capture images using the PuraPad. You can then save them to the album. Boom! Now you should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule Compendium. So, go capture a picture of that statue. This is a good chance to verify that it's working properly too. Test it out. Experience the best teacher. Experience is the best teacher after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I want to see how it looks. Hey, what's the matter? Statue's right there. This may even be what's showing. In fact, I'm almost certain of it. So capture an image of the statue with the camera and then show it to me. Okay, so I got to do this first. It's this the map. Okay. Okay. Hey, you. How'd that go? Capture the image of that statue with your camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it looks. So, did you get a good picture? Stupendous! Looks like you've captured it well. I'm sure Josh will be satisfied with this. Lighting up that immense route, getting us a picture of the statue. You've just started helping us research what's going on down here, but soon enough we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time I head back up to the surface. See you at the look. See you at lookout landing. Don't make Joshua wait too long for that picture. All right, sweet. I'm gonna have a look around down here while I'm here. This like spans the entire map as an underground. That looks like something I can warp up through. Maybe not. It's too high up. Can I climb it though? Probably better if I had more stamina. Oh, I should be able to make it. Give me a vantage point. So, Greg, when you started Zelda, how much of uh, a Fallen Order did you have left? I see a thing over there. Is that a person? Doesn't look like an enemy.
Oh, ow. Okay, wow. Oh, you're already dead. See what this is. Traveler's sword. Oh, it's like okay. But is it oh, it looks like a uh like fully intact sword. It is. He's gone now. Okay. That another. Spot. There we go. So close to finish with Fallen Order story than just the collectibles. Just defeated the Jedi on Death Death of Mirror. Okay. I thought you said you finished the story and you just had like the uh the trophies left. finished it on PC but never PlayStation I see so you 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 thought highly enough of the game to uh to include it in your PlayStation trophy collection that's that's interesting definitely not going to uh, worry about that in camp Most of the survivor that maybe included in PlayStation need to get a refresher, and since Platinum is not much more than completion, that might as well. Plus, it's a Souls like. I mean, it's kind of a Souls like. It has Souls like elements. We were talking about it earlier. It's it's kind of a a Souls like, Metroidvania like, Uncharted like, Tomb Raider like, the hero like. If you wanted to slap a genre on it, all in one. 
all in one package. Might be screwed because I ran out of stamina. Run, run, run. What is this? O's. Okay. Guy's got a leash eventually, right? Oh, there's another thing over here. Go around this camp if possible. See ya. Oh, crap. This is not good. Oh, geez. Oh, crap. This is bad. This is real bad. This is really bad. Go, 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 go. I lost sight of where my thing was. There we go. No. Oh, yes. They... That was good. Fairly generous leashing there. Oh, there we go. I just go climb this thing. Got it. Light up this joint. Yeah, this looks like just one giant area as opposed to a bunch of like like Elden Ring, how it was kind of three or four separate underground areas. That's what I just ran past. Oh, it's another statue. Not what I want. Not what I want. Also not what I want. What's the button? There we go. There's a button. Hammer. Oh, there's another statue. Oh, that's a big boy. Definitely not prepared to fight that. Rocks. I mean, well, I'm compelled to give it a chance. Oh, geez. Oh, he, I need to throw a bomb into that. Yeah. Shoot a bomb arrow into that. That was quick. Corruption right there. my bombs. There we go. I'm ready for you. Come on. Do your thing. Oh. 
Boom. Oh, that did very little damage to him, but... He just yeeted me. But I can beat him, though. As long as I stick to the plan. Oh, jeez. That was uh, sketchy. Another bomb. All right, what's my most powerful weapon? Okay, this. Froggy go boom. Oh. It broke. Okay, that sucks. Just how many weapons am I going to go through on this thing? That's what I want to know. Oh, no. Really? Oh, that freaking AOE damage, though. The square boss on the island was fun. Beat him using a stick with a mine cart attached to it. Still my favorite weapon. You can attach. I didn't know you could attach a mine cart to a weapon. That's that's actually pretty, pretty crazy. I can beat this guy. He's not that hard if you stay away from if you keep your distance. Hey, buddy. Jeez, that was bad. I thought he was going to do his... Come on. Rocks. There we go. I can't pull up my bow. Oh, I can't pull up my bow if he's already. Okay. Or maybe my bow had already broken by then. I can't. I don't know. I should have paid attention to that closer. My bow may have already broken. I'm getting this dude. I, I, I am zoned into this guy. I will not let him win. All right, I need I need to test this though. When he's yes, you can draw your bow while he's sucking in. I was just I, my bow was broke. My bow had been broken. Ah, dang it! All right, I know now though.
Get out of dodge. Oh, jeez. That was close. Crap, I'm losing a cart, aren't I? Yep, I just did. Dadgummit. Hammer broke. Hey, that was actually really good. He yeeted me off, which I needed that badly to get away from all this stuff. That's bad. Oh, wow. He goes a long way. Oh, gosh. Come on, do your, do your thing. Oh, geez. Not that thing. There we go, that thing. You're not cooperating with me, dude. Come on. Come on. You stop doing it? Have you learned? I guess maybe you've learned. Gum it, he did it, and then I. Ugh. What's up, Junior? Welcome back, dude. Yeah, I'm doing good, man. Thanks for asking. How are you doing, man? <sighs> I found a boss that is too hard for me right now, but I'm too stubborn to give up on it. see is there a thing I can use to fuse He always starts with this attack. Oh. 
then getting him to do it later is hit or miss. I wonder, because he, he has his mouth open for that. I wonder if you can still shoot him with an arrow when he does that. There we go. Thank you. Yes, it does work. Okay, sweet. That's that's actually really uh, helpful. Oh, it's broken. Dang it. Spot. No, 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 no. Here you go. There he is. There we go. Weapon situation is not all that great. No, 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 dead gummit. You're all right, just relaxing. Sounds good. I mean, honestly, at this point, like, I need more hammers to deal with this guy. Because the hammers do more damage against, like, those clumps of, uh, like, whatever those rocks are on his back. Puff shrooms. Ain't gonna cut it. Here's a rock. I could probably make a thing out of this. Let's see here. Uh... Need more get good? Yes, that too. I need more uh, don't screw up simple concepts, like when he opens his mouth, shoot him with a bomb every time.
sweet. He's doing it again, but I gotta be ready to shoot. That was close. This weapon that I made is actually quite good. Oh, no, no, that's wrong. Okay, whew. I need to equip a new bow here. Okay, this one I can, I can punish. Oh crap, I ran out of stamina, dadgummit. Okay, we ran out of... I'm in a bad spot. Come on, buddy. Here we go. Boom. No. Look at that. That was insane. Where is he? There he is. What, 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 let's see, I can use this one to finish the job, I think. Whoops, no, 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 no. This one. Oh, that busted it open. Dang it. There we go. Did I get him? Yes. It had to be done. Frog's Fang. A giant ore crunching frog's fang. Attach it to a weapon to moderately increase its attack power or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Rock's fingernail. Flat cracked fingernail attached to an arrow to increase his attack power or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Large crystallized charge. Uh, a large piece of crystal made by con condensing zonite charges. Uh, process from zonite equal to 20 normal. Wow. That's actually pretty dang good. All right. I feel good about it. Um... I've had about enough. Is that another? Right as I want to say, I've had about enough of this. I see another potential, like, thingamajig for opening up more of the map down here. I'm hopeless. That is not going to happen. tell you that right now. This a stone talus that's corrupted. Is that a bunch of pose? Yep. They gotta be useful for something, right? Oh, there's a bunch of enemies. Same music. Bum, 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 bum. Weapons do I have? <laughs> Crap. My 
uh, odds of getting here, getting through here unscathed are almost nil. Yo, oh yeah, he's riding on a horse. Okay, well. That'll do it. I could shoot him with the bomb arrow though, knock him off. So dead ahead is the map revealer thing. On the bright side, I've got plenty of space in my inventory for new weapons. Okay, where is... There he is. You get over here, buddy. Yeah, how'd that feel? Need to light the way. low on arrows. That shouldn't be a problem. We'll see. Oh no. Crap! You're back. No, 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 no. Give me these. go. Look at that. That ain't bad, you know? Pretty solid. Then there's another one, like, right in front of me. If I can get to it without dying. Might as well. See, can I... them then it doesn't matter this move is OP but I ain't complaining all right I'm gonna shoot an arrow just to light the way a little bit down here, just so I can see. It's another shroom. 
wonder. No, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I need to fire an arrow. I am running low, but I'll get more arrows eventually. We'll be fine. I am enjoying like just just the uh, the sense of discovery down here, and having more of these unlocked might might benefit me later, like when I come down here again and I already have a bunch of it unlocked. Yeah, I mean if this if this whole thing has to be lit up, that's gonna be insane. Oh, bunch of like uh ancient thingamabobs down here. And a bird to fly. This thing. Like a skateboard. Well, I, um, Keep going. Okay, well, there's another weapon, I guess. here badly yeah there's really not a good place to go uh oh all right I'll call it good down here for now here All right, well that was cool.
Fairy help you cook. A tonic you create. Pours a great deal of hearts. All right. Pacarico Village, yes. It's off to the southeast in the Nekluda region. Zonai ruins each shaped like a ring fell directly on top of the village. There's got to be a special reason for it. Right now, the Zonai survey team's elites are taking on the investigation. If you want to know about Zonai, you should talk to them. If you want more info, talk to Atmos down in the shelter. He can probably point you in the right direction. He helps deploy the monster control crew squads where they're needed and has extensive geographical knowledge. He can tell you more than I can about various regions and peoples. Anyways, get help from the research division for this, but I'm entrusting the investigation of the four regions of this phenomena to you. Okay. Hey, you show Judge of the picture you took of the statue. The, f the figure matches up pretty well and looks darn cool too. This is it. This does match what's on the fragment. Thank you, swordsman. Just like the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were, which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big, big discovery. Now, what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as a thanks for helping me with this stage of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? Zona night. Zona night times five. Okay. Right. <laughs> All right, sweet. Talk to that dude about Kakariko Village. All right. Hi. Taking off when the night monsters go to sleep, just said, expect. It'd be a complicating factor if you got lost during your travels. Please make sure to check your destination. Yeah. I'm quite confident in my knowledge of Hyrule's people and places. So if there's anything wondering about these various peoples of towns and villages, please ask. Hmm. Eight major places that is people's call home. Lookout Lighting is located here in Central Hyrule. The north here is a Rito village in Hebra. And there's Gerudo Town that's located in the southwest of the Gerudo region. Find a Goron City in northeast in Elden. Travel a bit further east and come across Terry. Terry Town! Hey, Terry Town! And Akala. Not too far from there is Zora's Domain, which is in the Lanero region. Oh. Continuing in the southeast Hyrule, you'll come across a cluster of Hylian Village. Those were within an area called the called Nekluda. Cluster you found Kakariko Village, where the Sheikah live. Speaking Tranquil Spot, Hate No Village is worth a visit. I also hear it's become Hyrule Center, Center of Fashion. And Lurin Village. Wonderful getaway destination. Uh, hmm. Okay, so it's just the same spiel. Okay. So that would correspond to like this region ish. I feel like I should go to Kakariko Village first. Like, yeah, directly southeast from here. Hey, I know that face, and any face I know is the face of a friend. Please, Link, help yourself to anything you see in the shelter. 
it's all yours to use as you see fit, but don't you dare go making a mess in this place, kicking up dust. I spent so much time cleaning here and there's still endless amounts of dust. Where does all this dust even come from anyway? Okay. So southeast from here, it's like here-ish, I want to say. We'll go with that. And any shrines I come across on the way. Has anyone figured out like what these are for? Are they just for making like random vehicles and stuff? like it is going to be a ways oh that looks like a thing like a Korok seed thing Hey, it's a thing on a jig. Um, maybe I could ride it up and get to a sky island. I can find where it fell. There's another one. There's another one. Holy crap, there's a bunch of them falling down here. Large Zonite Charge. Zonite Charge with massive energy stored within. Put it on a Zonite device dispenser or use it to temporarily prevent a Zonite energy cell from losing power. Sweet. While I'm up here, I do have quite the view. And I could sail down to somewhere of importance if I see like a shrine or something. There's a tower. Here's a shrine. There's a horse stable. All right.
seen any estimates to expect for finishing this game's main story mode? Um, I mean, I, I've heard reports of people who have spent like 100 plus hours who are not even like remotely close to being done with the game. But I'm assuming those are people who are really, really, really um, exploring and trying to do everything. Pick up some arrows. Oh, it's six per arrow. These only go for six rupees. Wow. Most of this stuff is not like all that valuable. That's only 10 rupees for a large zone I charge. Really the most valuable things I have are these rubies. Alan. There's a shrine right by here, too. That's awesome to hear, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, there. It, this is much like Breath of the Wild. Like, Breath of the Wild, I easily sank... Um... 200 plus hours into on my first playthrough. And that's because I just, you know, was having fun with the game, really. Where am I going? Yeah. Need to reach my friend. Where's your friend? Friend is sending up a smoke signal. Yeah. I'm going to help you as soon as I unlock this shrine. They're trying to 100% my first grown. I mean, I'm not going to 100% this game, but like in Breath of the Wild, I, I like. I, I, I found all but, I think, three of the 120 shrines by myself without using a guide. And then the three that I couldn't find, I eventually did look up where they were. I do want to do all of the shrines. I don't think I'm going to get all the Korok seeds. Especially if there's 900 of them. I mean, this could be pretty easy, right? It's just... Let me pick you up. Walk you over, right? Well, it's a bit of a walk because I can't go fast. This would be better suited for having a vehicle, but like the thing about vehicles is like is you can't steer them in real time. At least not with the components that I've come across.
Word, I felt that. I'm right there with you. Similar styles. Yeah, this game is like, I mean, it's obvious. It's a lot like Breath of the Wild. It's just relaxing. Like, just playing this game is just... It, it like has like a certain calmness about it. Like you can just you can you can do it. You can sail around, fly around, climb mountains, and just look around, enjoy the scenery. Um, <laughs> thanks for being my friend. Here's something for you: Korok seed times two. Bye bye. Glad I could help. And I love that this game doesn't just litter the map with countless waypoints and, you know, things to do. Interest, you know, it, it, it allows, it gives you the, the, the freedom and the space to explore and stumble upon things yourself, which I do like. I like that better than a map filled with question marks and exclamation points and this and that, different symbols, all that crap. I like having the I like having the freedom. I'm not feeling like I constantly have to make it to all these different things. Okay. I didn't read what the shrine was called. Usually the name of the shrine has like a hint. Okay, that's the end, right? Yeah, that's where you get your power up. Oh. Oh, hey. Now, does this thing move? Like, without... I feel like I need to put a fan on this thing. I don't need it to be attached, do I? It, yes, I do need it to be attached. Oh, I can't. I, you can't do that in a shrine. Okay. Is this a makeable jump? Probably not. That's instant death. Let's see. I can't use a fan in here. Like, I can't use one of my own. Um, can I? Well, I do have a... S Hold on. I'll dismantle this and um, oh. And I shall do this. Okay, that doesn't do what I wanted it to do.
So I have to waste another thing. There we go. Oh, that doesn't work. Dang it. How do I get this thing to move? Unless... Push it. Oh. Come on, it's got wheels. I should be able to push this thing. Oh, that's okay. Those are actual. Would have been good to know. These are actual devices, not just like stationary wheels. Get back here. Stop. I gotta get this beeping noise off. Um, okay. Hey, what's up, Chris Cab? Good to see you, man. How you been doing? Um, so there is thing with this. Okay, and grab this. What effect does this have? I have this thing. I don't know what this even does. I should like and I should attach to Thing is, is I gotta get the ball up here. Doing well, haven't opened my collector's edition yet. Still debating whether to open it or to get another copy. Well, it all depends. I mean, the collector's edition could be worth um, quite a bit someday. Okay, there is definitely something to this block here. I could use this theoretically.
attach. And I'm just BSing at this point. Attach and grab. Release and use this recall and it'll go back to where it was before, right? Yes. Um. No, why did it unstick the ball? Okay, I can use recall on this thing. Right? Okay. So, get the ball. This is not the intended solution. I can assure you of that, but this could be a solution. I am interested to know what the intended solution would be. I'm pretty sure this will work though. So now I can do this. Find it. A up and then do this and then grab it. Ah. I sh I, in theory, this should work. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Boom. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that worked. Oh, man. That was like very clearly like not what you're supposed to do. But again, who am I to argue it worked? Okay. Well, this is a whole other. Why are there multiple of these rafts? Like only there's like one one of these rafts should be more than enough, right? Okay, I'm going to attach it here. And let's go. Uh so this doesn't like ladder about. I'm really curious to like look up the intended solution to that because that was nowhere near the intended solution, but. Okay, is that like a time thing? This gets me back to where it's, yeah, that's where I need to be. Okay, so the current is going that way. I, unfortunately, not. Dang it. Maybe you have to build like a stronger raft that can overcome the current.
I don't think I can, I can lift the sphere like high enough to get up here. Do I just have to build? I have an idea. I can play like a leapfrog game. These rafts. Now I'm really interested to know what the actual Oops, I'm going to use the first one. Nope. There we go. All right, bring that on over here. Problem is, oh yeah. That I drift back to the. Yeah, because of, because of the current. So this doesn't work. I, I hoped it would. But what if. Activate all this stuff. Let propel me forward. Or at least keep me from going backwards. So I'm going to want to make these level. So I'll attach it right here. If I unjiggle this one, then it takes the wheels off, too. But what if I attach the wheels here and make it lighter? I mean, these wheels got to be for something, right? Maybe not. Or simply, I mean, this is a shorter path. I could basically just build a bridge. I don't know what. If you do it this way, I don't know what the purpose of those wheels are, but win's a win. Assuming that it works. I don't see why I wouldn't. Basically just building a bridge. I'm sure there's a way that those you can get those wheels to work, but I had all four of them going and I was not moving anywhere.
Well, you know. We got there. I'm really interested to know like what you're supposed to do with this. There are definitely a few shrines in, in Breath of the Wild where like I just came up with some janky solution that got the job done, but it definitely was not what the developers intended. All right, um, so what's the name of this shrine? Tukarok Shrine, Forward Force. So yeah, you're supposed to use Forward Force, but like, I clearly was not doing that. Um, all right, I am going to, okay, Tukarok Shrine. Shrine walkthrough, there's already like full blown Okay, let's check this out. All right. Uh, okay. This dude's already like got tripped out armor and stuff. All righty. Uh, let's see. I'm going to speed this up so it doesn't take as long. So goes. Do the spot with the sphere. It's the sphere, puts it on the, yep. So the crossing the lava, there's like, yeah, you use that thing to cross over and that's pretty much it. So you use this as a, oh yeah, yeah, okay. He builds like a, Wow, that is really cool. It like paddles its way up. Oh, there's a treasure chest down there. Strong Zonite sword, okay. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Worth showing you guys for sure. Um, I missed the I missed the treasure trust anyhow, so I'm gonna go back and get it and show you guys like the intended way of doing this. I mean, you it should be you know theoretically obvious, but. Yeah, this won't take long. Yeah, this first one is just literally putting it on the raft and then... supposed to put it on top of this thing which I did do but you're supposed to use the wheel which I did not do and attach this and then take this thing I, I I couldn't for the life of me figure out what this thing was for and this is you're supposed to use it as like a paddle that up. 
So you attach it here. Then you hit it. Or maybe we have to use an arrow. Then it like does this to go get, get all the way up. Like that's really cool. Not at all what I did. And this one, you can just use this, this raft. And then you can take two of these pieces. Orient them. Like so. Oops. Patch. And... Patch. So this is actually, like, helping me get a better feel for, like, how to actually do this stuff. Probably, uh, hopefully be better, like, my, my mind will be more trained. That was a fail. My mind will be better trained for, like, solving these types of puzzles in a better way. Fortunately, I can, uh... Take a mulligan here. Wait, is this? Yes, it's. Come on. Close enough. Now, stupid, don't break the raft. Actually, I'm going to use a This should work. This is how the dude in the video did it. This is taking a bit longer. Maybe it's because they're not perfectly aligned. Yeah, this one's a little bit further down the... Whoa! Oh, that did that ruin the whole thing? Hard to tell. That's not right either. Let me get this thing to stop. And also, not forget to get the treasure chest that's down here. That's the whole reason I came back in here. There we go. Strong Zonite sword. Are these lined up? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, looks about right. Work! Yeah, it's still not working right. Maybe... 
too heavy. That's barely freaking moving. Back. There are two more, so I could theoretically make a double raft. Need to stop it. There we go. Loving these pu these puzzles are pretty. They're they're pretty wild. it matters that these are all going to be like different angles or no these two these two wheels are, are rotating the wrong way dang it which sabotages the whole operation because now it's going to break apart yeah in before. Yeah, here we go. Dang it. Not what I want, but... Will help me get there. There we go. Now bring this back. Attach it right here. There we go. Line it up like right here-ish. I'll make sure these wheels are pointing the right way. I want them going this way. Beams. Yeah, should work. Take me to the promised land. Things are bumping into each other, the planks. Still going painfully slow. I have no idea why this is going so much slower than the one in the video that I watched. Let me see. What the heck's the deal? Can you do something different? 
Pretty sure this is exactly what he did. Oh, yeah. I oriented the planks the wrong way. That would make sense. I mean, this is moving. And mind you, what I did originally did work. So there's that. No, 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 no. Don't you dare. Okay, so you can take this. You want to or orient it like this. actual paddle. Or I could. There we go. Look at that. Now that it's at the other side, it's like, I don't know what to do. Yeah, the physics engine in this game is pretty ridiculous. Really impressive what's what you're actually capable of doing okay we'll head in this general direction which should lead me roughly to kakariko village blue nightshade plant that grows quieter and higher quiet quieter areas of hyrule at night it gives off a soft glow cook with it to increase your stealth Pinecone. pine cone. We've got another tower over here, another shrine over here. Skeletons. Thanks. Looks like an NPC. I heard that you and Princess Zelda gone missing. I'm thrilled to see you alive and well, but where is Princess Zelda? It's a long story, sir. 
What? So Princess Zelda still missing? Well then, Link, you may want to meet L Lady oh. Impa. She's investigating the geoglyphs that have appeared across the land. A curious name for this strange phenomenon. Lady Impa believes that they're crucial in the search for Princess Zelda. She's traveling in one of those new balloon contraptions and should be at New Serene Stable right now. I'm in a hurry to meet with Lady Impa, but I can't go anywhere nearly as fast as she can in her balloon. Let's see. New Serene Stable is just a little to the northwest of Central Hyrule. You'll excuse me. I need to be on my way. Well, I thought I was going to talk to Impa at Kakariko Village. Well, there's what I know. Okay. I will do that. Later. Should I try to get a horse now? I mean, I don't have a place to glide from. Gliding is usually my way of getting to horses effectively. Uh, that lightning, some serious lightning right there. So there's a shrine. May not be able to get to it till it stops raining though. Can't climb. Hello. On rain. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Heck. Oh, snap. That's not good. That's not good. That's really not good. Oh, geez. Yeah, I'm like dead. Okay. Still raining, dang it. is that thing? Yep. Get the moon. That's pretty cool. Flash fruit. Contains pressurized water cooking. It brings out its ability to enhance swim speed. There's no running away from these guys. They will outrun you. Oh, 
There's no there's no getting away from these things. Like, like what the heck are you supposed to do about that? Like, not fight it, I guess, but I mean I feel like it you you, you would be using like arrows against them because they have those eyeballs in their head, but or in their hands. The thing is, I want to get up there to that shrine, and I can't because it's freaking raining. Climbing is... You make negative progress. You, you slide further down than you actually climbed up. All right, come on, sunshine. I doubt I could warp up there. As long as the weather forecast is accurate, there shouldn't be much more rain. This is the one frustrating aspect of, 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 of the game, like, being realistic is that, like, slippery surfaces are impossible to climb. But it's like, you're, you're, you're caught in situations like that. I mean, I get it. It's like, you know. It does add to the immersion. You wouldn't be able to climb the face of a cliff in the middle of the rain, for sure. I'd like for the rain to end soon. That would also be nice. Yep. All right. I'm ready for the sun to come out. Here we go. There we go. I could climb this, or can I ceiling warp? That's too high. So, back in the beanstalk it is. Provided I have the stamina. Which, if I don't have the stamina, you could come up with something, maybe. Halfway done. It's gonna be close. I don't think I'm going to get it. That's why stamina in this game is king. Yeah. Bad day. Yeah. Nope. All right. Movement speed. Um, but I wonder if I do an impromptu. This. And this. What? 
And then drop one of these. Does it do what I need it to do? Maybe? See? Toasty. Yeah, it doesn't grant special effects, but restores more health. Dang it. Need to actually cook. Ah, it is a shrine, though. I want to go to the shrine. If only we're that easy. Well, really, I mean, if I get to this, I will go far enough in the air that I should be able to. Oh, dang it. Does this thing leash? Okay. I'm alive! I'll take it. Circle of rocks usually equals... Okay, never mind. Take that back. Oh, that looks like a quark seed thing. Hey, it's a dragon! And there's a thing that fell down from the sky. Hey, where's the thing? And it's raining again, Dad. Gum it. Where did the freaking flower go? There it is. Where's the thing that fell down? There it is. All right, take me away. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, I want to stand on you. There we go. Yeah, there's another one of those like glyphs on the ground. Really, I should go here first. Because this will shoot me up in the air and then I can get to that shrine. I'm guessing it's going to be the same as the other one. Like shoots me up. In the air. Why, hello. 
Oh gosh. Yeah. Uh, Let's see, my apologies. Looks like we have a small problem. Oh. I heard that the terminal at the Skyview Tower needed repair, so I came to fix it, but the door won't open. I have no clue why. The door isn't locked, but it won't budge no matter how hard I push or pull. Oh, of course, I know. It's a sliding door. That's what I meant, obviously. Uh. Sigh. Horked up an appetite getting my brain into gear for this, but I bet nearby caves would have some tasty mushrooms. Oh. There are caves at the bottom of the hill. Used to go mushroom hunting in them all the time while rebuilding the tower. Oh. Okay. This is the bottom of the hill. That he refers to. Or is it like all the way at the bottom? Theoretically, could be a cave in here. Is that a core rock? Oh, so they're gonna They'll be able to work through this. What's up, cool guy? How you doing, man? Welcome back. Oh, this is the one that I already got. Caves at the bottom of the hill. bottom of the hill or what Guess some game is going to replace Bloodborne as the favorite. I doubt if I will like this game more than I like Bloodborne. But we'll see. Jury's still out. I wish you would have told me what type of mushroom he's looking for. Feel like I'm at the bottom of the hill? Maybe? ever simple though I'm like yeah I'm at the bottom of the hill Can you get Majora's mask in this game as an accessory I have no idea uh, this should be a like a quest Homeboy needs his freaking mushrooms from a cave at the bottom of the hill. Well, here I am. I'm at the bottom. Can I spot like cave or there's a cork that needs help? Hmm. 
Literally, I came all the way down here. From here. And I had the I, I could have went to the shrine first. I was like, oh no, I'll do the tower first. And then that backfired. Because at least if I'd done the shrine first, I'd have a warp point up there, but now I don't even have a warp point. Alright, dude. Where's your friend? You're there. You lazy SOB you. I probably need to build a raft. Only way. So, do I have an axe? Kind of, but it's about to break. We need more than this. Pretty branch. Could use this. I find something. There we go. Ugh. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. What's this down here? Looks like it was craftable. What's this? Like a rock. Alright, so we're gonna fuse these things together. Make ourselves a raft. this poor Korok to the other side. Okay. It's good. A couple fans. We'll be in business. This is the right way, right? No, Dad, gummit! It is the right way. Wow, they really make those things way too destructible.
him over here. Learn how to swim, bro. That's not what I want. Going the wrong way. Dang it. Yeah, so this doesn't quite work the way that I want it to. Okay, stop. I'm trying, dude. I think I need to like orient it differently so that way it doesn't. There we go. Oh, no. Well, as long as I can physically get him. Come on, turn me around. Take me downstream a little bit. We'll get there eventually. Okay. Now my original thing is I'm trying to find caves that are at the bottom of this here hill. I was about to thunderstorm. Dang it. Maybe it's on the other side of this bridge. see a dude in a sign that could be good <laughs> darn it all president hudson are you okay oh no what have i done all right i'm sorry president hudson i won't ever let you fall again that was unforgivable it's all your fault starting me like that Yes, I know it's just a sign, but I have a great respect for President Hudson, so I pin the blame on you. Unforgivable. You haven't heard about Mr. Hudson? He's the president of our construction company. He is the one appointed by the princess herself. He placed him in charge of putting those material caches everywhere, and now he's shouldering Hyrule's restoration. Of course, he's also the founder of Hudson Construction, and besides all that, he came right in the middle of President Hudson's epic tale of heroism. Well, fine. 
What was I doing before? I don't want the others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this around. But President Hudson's given me an extra special mission, and that's to put these signs up all over the place and let everyone know that Hudson construction is a big deal. These aren't your ordinary signs, as you can clearly see. These portray Mr. Hudson himself in a detail, noble, glorious detail. It's unforgivable for even one of these to fall over. And so, I pledge to support him. Don't worry, Mr. Hudson, I'm here for you. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. All right, well, I can maybe help you out. Ish. Attach it. Can't attach it. Bad dude. Feels like that I should be able to put a thing in there. It's cut out for one. Bit. Yes. Can't attach it. Yeah, maybe. to prop it up can If anything, I just made his sign heavier for him. <laughs> yeah, does that help you? <laughs> there we go. Yeah. He didn't use what I made, but I'm not offended. <laughs> Red rupee. Okay. Oh, meaty rice balls. Sleepover ticket. Lodging voucher for regular stable bed. Reward collecting pony points. Been at a stable to get some rest and recover from fatigue with travel. Ah. Um, hold on, I got a thing. bit miffed. I don't see caves. I was told there would be caves. Like we got crop circles down here or something.
wanted to unlock that tower, but... Fat chance, but has anyone found the caves that this dude was referring to that hold his special mushrooms that he must have in order to unlock this door for me? Zero caves have been found. Unless, is that a cave? You startled me. Give a gal some morning. That, that that seems to be the theme of like, I'm startling everybody. I worked so hard to make 10 of them. And now this, I'm, how am I supposed to gather all these up by myself? Get all 10 of them. I'll pay you. Careful loading the toys. They tend to fall out if they're not all the way in. I want to get moving some of this quick. Twenty rupee deposit. Okay. Interesting mini game. Okay, I can't pick this thing up. What the heck? Uh, what the heck? No. Uh, uh, oh, I think I know. That. There's a spot where I could pick this one up. There we go. There we go. Just barely can grab it. this thing please are well okay they're out of reach can't all right well I wasted 20 rupees but whatever there's no way I'm dead.
Crazy. Okay, you can't even reach these. So what else could I do? So that was, I screwed myself with that one. Let's try this again. If the reward is less than 40 rupees, then I mean, that's really what all you need to do with all of them is just rewind time for all of them. Oh, she returned my deposit. Well, that's nice. Whatever. Term. I don't see no cave. Makes me very, very sad. Arg, that's frustrating. Maybe it's at the bottom of the hill in the other direction, or, oh, there's a thing. By golly, I'm getting the stupid shrine. Large Zonai charge. Okay. Alright, let's go. Bouncy device.
Oh, so those are movable. I mean... That quite it. What if I... Right here? That looks like it's... Okay. Well, in that case... Looks like I could use this as like a ramp, maybe. I don't know if that's what this is getting at. Um, or if this is supposed to hold on. If I maybe okay, that did not work as expected. What's up, Envy? How you doing, dude? The only thing I can think of. Putting it right here. No, why would that? Uh, uh, uh. Why won't the ball stay? Stay. Right there. Yeah, there we go. Success. I can glide over here. Score for the good guys. I am living the dream, my friend. Had a real good time playing some Zelda. Go in. There we go. Okay, so these are like bind. Does that make does that increase the springiness? If I add a third one. Maybe 
even be able to climb up. Not what it wants. We'll try it with two. Barely can even get up on two, so. There we go. Oh, almost missed that. Sneaky elixir. All right. I have an idea. This on the ground level. Gotta add a third one on top, maybe. as nearly as well oh because it didn't fire this middle one maybe because they weren't totally lined up yeah okay that looks perfect Bingo. Right. Crouch down so you can approach it quietly from behind. Take heed, though. The horse notices you directly behind it, it'll kick you. All right. Visibility. About nil. another attempt to find the bottom of this hill. Here, maybe? Not really a cave. That's just a enemy encampment. This dude wanted mushrooms. Inside of a cave. At the bottom of the hill. found no such cave. 
heck is this thing? That looks like this this screams Korok seed. Did I catch it? I'm warping back to the shrine. See a little bit better now. Sky. The nerve. I mean, maybe if, if, if you follow like this main pathway. just was but maybe if you followed all the way down something maybe this main pathway will lead us to bed cave at the bottom of the hill Ekarigo village or riverside stable It's a Gerudo lady. Saba, Saba. Mm -hmm. So she mentioned ruins, maybe that could be it. Actually, I'm literally going back to this stable. This Rito dude gave me literally the vaguest instructions known to man. Hey, it's a blood moon. I mean, theoretically, the hill that he's talking about should be, like, visible from where he was standing. I would enjoy it if I could, uh...
The blood moon rises once again. Bloodstained moon shines upon the land. The aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Well, in Breath of the Wild, one thing I know is when the Blood Moon happened, all of the weapons respawned as well. Which was very handy. Save around here. What the heck is this thing? Enemy looks like one of the big rock dudes. Oh, is this the cave? Really? It was like. Ay, ay, ay. Like, oh, did get in. Do I have another stick, though? I do have another stick, right? Yeah, I got plenty of sticks. Use this crap. Here we go. Stop me. Oh, this this makes an axe now. There we go. Oh, snap. Why, hello. Okay, that hurt. Thanks for that.
I don't have any arrows left. Dad gum it. Down, dude. Oh, my eyes. Contacts are going crazy. Uh... Oh wow, there's lots of crap in here. Gummit. Oh, I barely made it. Okay, thought I was about to die. I'll meet. Probably about to uh, bust this hammer up. through here no <laughs> you just know the entrance Look. 
this. I literally, it will not hit these like that are slightly above the ground. Then, uh, He only, he only like jabs literally straight ahead, so um take one of these travelers. Take the rusty claymore. I think I can use it with something. Oh hey, it's a rupee. Right, let's see if I can find something to fuse this with. Gotta be something. Somewhere in this cave. Oh, whoa, what was that? What's Traveler's Claymore? What if I... A double claymore. I'm not gonna be very good at busting through these boulders, but oh, come on. This will do too. All right. There we go. Oh, he's carrying the uh, the Boca blends on top of his back. That's funny. Three entrances to the same cave. I think I got what I needed, though. So when he was talking about the bottom of this hill, it literally meant this hill right here, not all the way down there. Now I know. Mushrooms, buddy. Dude, okay. This t the, the. Okay, I think I just have to. Like, uh, 
special mushroom, wasn't it? It was, what was it? What was it that I got in this cave? Not something. Forget what it's called, though. Is it a bright cap? mushroom dude I know I got what was those picked up Dude, I literally what the no. Dude is a piece of freaking work. I mean, I got... got everything there is to get and like as far as this network of boulders unless they're hiding something but the thing is my stuff's gonna break Diamond, wow. All right, still not what I was looking for.
Hiding something? No. I mean, seriously, I think I'm done. Break this too. Unless there's like a ceiling warp thing. mushrooms oh it's broken oh you open the door is there anything strange near it That's why. Oh. Uh. <laughs> A couple sticks. I wonder if those were just there to begin with and how if it just fell over somehow or if the sub monster did that on purpose. Okay, well, I guess that solves that then. Mm. That's really weird why they... Mm. Why did they say something about mushrooms? That is bizarre. It's very misleading. What a contraption. But most of the sky, sky islands are higher than these things even launch you. to oh there's that one I might try to get to that one here's a shrine let's go to the shrine why not Where does this put me? Um, this thing. May or may not even be like Jack Rigo Village is supposed to be. Jack Rigo Village would be late would be like listed here. This thing is. It's it's bad, 
Baddies. All right, see ya. This the village? It could be. Yep, it is. I can tell because of the music. I know the thing said like it got the village got hit by something. Upright device. Okay, I think you can warp through here, right? this thing Climb up this thing. Fly over. Oh, whoa, 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 wrong button. Rather, place this. see what they're putting down. This. Match it. Get the ball. I'm gonna do a catapult. 
And let's hope this works. Bingo. Very cool puzzle. Just gotta wait for the ball to go in. There we go. Ooh, another catapult. But we ain't done yet. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit stumped here. What's the point of... I gotta... Oh... I don't know why. Detach this bowl. Oh, it's the same piece. Okay. You come over here. here. Super tall and I don't think that's going to get me there, though. Not. Well. I mean, that one has like a scoop in it as if you're supposed to put a ball inside. No, 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 no. Get back here. What does this have to do with the ball? Can't lift this high enough. Let 
not gonna work. knew this wasn't going to work anyway, but I had to try. I mean, do I have to, like, catapult myself? Okay. It needs to be taller, though. I can make it taller. I can't give myself an extra arrow, though. Arrows. fall the wrong way. Attach it. Attach. There we go. Get this as far over without like walking off the edge. Dang it, I need to attach this thing first. So now the trick is going to be, how do I activate this thing while I'm inside of... This. Maybe, can I use the ball? Where'd the ball go? Ball MIA? Oh, there's the ball. And I have to re... I mean, I, I feel like I'd have to knock it down and then like reverse time, but that doesn't make it spring fast enough. I don't know. That's not gonna work. Dang it. Um Huh? <laughs> 
Oh, why? Uh. And I really do think actually it's just a matter. It, all, all you need is this one, I'm pretty sure. Making it more complicated than it needs to be. I just did it wrong the first time, I'm pretty sure. That's not enough, though. Dang it, that is is not enough. I wonder if you put two of the things on it, if it like increases the velocity. this the first time. Be nice over arrows. Fairy tonic. Harnesses the power of fairies. It has a sweet fragrance. I don't even have the option of having another one of those things though. So that 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 is a, a moot point.
15. But if you do attach it to this side, I mean, is there something fundamentally wrong with that? Will the ball trigger this contraption? That will. Okay. Oh, that 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 hurt. Okay, so I was overthinking it. Like you don't have to hit this to get it to launch. You just have to hit anywhere on the Theoretically, here, just go, ouch, go, boop, use a hammer maybe, nope. Bingo! I have arrived. All right, well, Kakariko Village, we have arrived. What all that crap is. Lady Paya has duty to take care of the village, but whenever I take my eyes off her, she's elbow deep in some trivial new problem. Hmm. Is that really you, Link? Why, it's been some time. You've given me quite a shock. I didn't expect to see you appear here in our village. And right now, too, while our chief is... Suppose you haven't heard, the former chief Lady Impa retired. Now Lady Paya is the chief of Kakariko Village. I've been working as her assistant, but Lady Paya is ignoring her responsibilities. She won't listen to anything I say. All those ring ruins have her full attention. Even now, she's under one of the ring ruins with the Zonai survey team, that ruin over there. Oh. Wonder maybe seeing you will remind her about her responsibilities as chief. Do me a favor, stop by to see Lady Paya. Sure. But after I look inside the house. You're a Korok. Or maybe it's not a Korok. I don't know. Read these. Yeah. 
can sleep there. Ooh. Sure, why not? One day, Grandmother said to me, you've grown up, Haya. It took me by surprise, so simply nodded. She nodded back and said, it's settled. As of today, you're the chief. And so it was. Suddenly, I was the chief. But what can I hope to achieve? Just like Grandmother, do I have Dorian as my side? Oh, excuse me. I do have Dorian at my side. Or as my aide. For which I am grateful, yet for some reason he seems troubled. Grandmother has become obsessed with old books. I'm hesitant to reach out to her with my concerns. I fear this chief's hat the grandmother has given me is too heavy for me to bear. Literally, it rather hurts my head. I've been suddenly without warning. I was so frightened by the impact. It was as though someone had taken hold of this world and given it violent, a violent shake. The air grew stagnant, weapons decayed, and ruins fell from a somber sky shrouded in dark clouds. How fortunate that none of the villagers were injured. As far as the village itself, it has been utterly transformed. Five large ring-shaped ruins fell down from a, fell down upon the village, and a large opening in the ground has been spotted at East Hill. Even with everything that's happening, Grandmother said that she was going to set out on a journey with Kado. I tried to stop her from going at a time like this, but she insisted that such times are precisely why she must go. I had no choice but to bid her farewell. Her eyes seemed to wordlessly say that she was shouldering some great mission. There were 11 peculiar symbols depicted in the books Grandmother was reading. Could they somehow be related to her sudden departure? Told Pura of Lookout Landing about our village's situation, she said, Ring-shaped ruins are incredibly unusual. Realizing this could be a good opportunity to help the village, I made the arrangements with the Zonai survey team at once. I returned home to greet them, and that's when Princess Zelda arrived at the village. She seemed almost like a doll of herself, the same outside but no spirit within. I could not hide my uncertainty. Oh gosh, sorry, it's late. She forbade anyone from entering the broken and particularly floating, partially floating ruin, and then she left just like that. She did not mention the village's awful condition or have any words of kindness for our villagers. The Zonai survey team has arrived at our village. Their leader, Taro, is in, in, truly incredible and has already found a clue in the quest to decipher the Zonai writing. I tentatively named the ruins that fell upon our village the Ring Ruins. It seemed the obvious choice. The villagers have treated me with such warmth they even embraced my decision for us to coexist with the Ring Ruins. Of their own volition, some of our villagers volunteered to aid research and others for patrol duty. It's humbling to behold. Dorian's sweet little daughter, Coco, has even crafted souvenir items called Ring Garlands. Before I knew it, our days of never having visitors had passed. Our quiet village seems to have regained its vigor. For all else, we must learn more about the ring ruins. It's my responsibility as chief to see that it's done. I intend to fulfill my duties as chief in a manner that is slightly different from my grandmother's way. Gone is the chief who sits in her hall with quiet wisdom. That is what the village village needed of her then, but no longer. I must keep moving forward so that when she returns, I can great, greet my dear grandmother with a triumphant smile. Oh mercy! I'm done reading. <laughs> that was a uh, that was a lot to read. Um, a comfy bed in the ring ruins, for better or worse. Anyone know how to treat the gloom sickness? Anything helps? If you have information, bring it. Monsters appear to the ring ruin out among the hills. The lead was here, disrupting my research. Cuckoos used to lay their eggs in front of the store, but they've been wandering off somewhere in the morning. So where are those dang cuckoos laying their eggs? We rely on the eggs for our business. Secret base is secret just between me and mommy, so no one is allowed to follow me ever. That's what that's what what makes it secret, not Kotla. Alright. Ugh. Surveying shrines, surveying chasms. Lee, there's a lot of journals. Can 
I'm freaking nosy. I read all the crap. here buy some stuff here some armor perhaps yeah that's like the shika stuff glow in the dark five thousand a piece yo snap i don't even have any more close to that not even close makes that hyrule set from like that first town I went to seemed not so bad in terms of price. Strictly forbidden to get near that ring room by Princess Zelda's orders. You better be on your way. You heard me. Princess Zelda came out to Kekuru Village the other day and told everyone to steer clear of that oh. ring room. She left in a hurry, so I didn't quite catch oh, catch the why of it all. As you surely notice, these ruins become crumbling down at any time. So folks need to keep away so they don't get injured. I'm sure that's where her, concern, her concerns were coming from. Is that right, sir? Ring runes are the most intriguing runes I've ever researched, especially this one, the way that part of it floats up there. You had the foresight to focus on all these special ruins and invite the survey team to look, take a look right away. Uh. I'm impressed, Chief Paya. Oh no, I'm no chief. I just couldn't refuse my predecessor when she de decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. I'm really a chief in name only since I still have a great deal to... Hmm. Uh. Oh, is that you, Master Link? <laughs> I'm so happy I get to see you again. Overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. Well, how about that? What? Princess Zelda's still missing? That just confuses the matter more, you see. I actually met with the princess not too long ago. I was immediately after the upheaval. Princess Zelda came here to Kakariko Village. Or was it her? Could it have been someone else? She ordered us to all stay away from the ring ruin that the ring ruin that floats above us, no matter what. I saw her myself. Princess right before my eyes. She left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about these unusual instructions. We thought that it was to protect the villagers from harm. This ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. As what Paya and I suspect, at least. But still, I know you would not misspeak, Master Link, especially on a matter of such importance. How confusing. Oh, my apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to see you. I completely forgot common courtesy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Taro, an esteemed member of the Zonai survey team. Survey team. I invited him here to investigate the, the ring ruins that fell into our village. He has incredibly deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with the Zonai script. He is fully an incredibly talented individual. Truly an incredibly talented village or er, individual. Oh. Clear that the following ring ruin we are forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more ring ruins with such a shape have fallen down around the village. Most have broken apart in some way. That's what's fascinating about that a stone slab with writing was found at each site. Deciphering the text showed that each slab contained rather interesting content, including mention of sages. Still, no, There's still so much we don't understand. Mm. I think that perhaps the ruin floating in the air also has a slab that makes mention of the sages. Mm. You can't investigate as that would go against Princess Zelda's direct orders. 
only I could meet with her again, I'm sure I could persuade her to change her mind. In any case, I'm having trouble squaring your story about Princess Zelda with the Princess Zelda we met. I doubt y'all saw the real Princess Zelda, but that's what's up. We'll see. Everything is all right. Why won't she just show herself? She must have some reason. Until we find out Princess Zelda's true intentions, we have no choice but to trust her and to leave that ruin alone. Taking her as chief, still a long way to go before I truly end the title, but I intend to follow the path of first step to last. The upheaval brought with it big changes for our village. Afterward, we learned that the ring ruins were true rarities with certain features that are not present anywhere else. Because of that, we now have tourists coming to the village to view them. Can you believe it? From now on, the ring ruins will be the cornerstone of ensuring the vitality of our village. Sakakariko Village Chief is how I think of them a blessing born of tragedy. I haven't yet learned anything about Princess Zelda's whereabouts, so I'm not sure I'll be of any help to you mm -hmm. still. Know that I will always support you. If you ever need anything of this village or anything transpires, we are here for you. Okay. Got a side quest. Oh, here's a shrine up there too. Okay, sweet. That, that, that's the same one. Never mind. Okay, this is a dispenser. thing right here uh, I need these huh. big wheel okay This is a ruins. So the side quest that I got. Found in the ring ruins that fell around Kakariko Village, Bug Hut has come to see the writing on the slabs, but is afraid of heights and can't visit the ruins. If you read what's written on each slab, let them know what you what they say. You have four more to tell them about. Okay. I think this is one of them, right?
account. Slab. Slab. Guessing that would be the slab, right? Let's see if this counts. Good, right? I think that's a slab. I guess I took a picture of it. That should be enough. I'm going to be calling it... Uh, I'll be calling it a night pretty soon here as well. down around here, right? Okay, so that counted. All right, guys. I am going to go to bed. Um, I'm quite tired. So, we'll call it right here. But thank you guys for watching. We'll play against some more tomorrow. Looking forward to it. And uh, until then, uh, y'all take care and hopefully um, make some good progress. So... My goal is after Kakariko Village is to go like on the main story path and at least uh, like the next one being uh, Impa and the Geoglyphs, this one here, and then depending on what that, what that, what comes out of that, I might uh, start going to these, um, whatever they're called. Um... The Phenomenons. Yeah. So the first one I would go to would be the uh, Rito Village. So anyway, that's kind of the plan. So uh, till next time, y'all take care and we'll see you then. Bye, everybody.